Well, we're celebrating Independence Day tomorrow, and of course, all eyes will be on the skies as many across southern Arizona look forward to seeing the traditional bright fireworks to celebrate the holiday. We talked a lot about the rules of lighting fireworks in Arizona and how to be safe, but it's also important to really dive into what you should do when you're done with your fireworks. That's where we find 13 News reporter Andreas Rendon this morning with all the festive wear and all the firework oh. information that you need to know. So what should people do after the fireworks, Andreas? All right, well, ladies, I think after the fireworks, what folks need to realize is that these things are extremely hot, especially after they're lit. So you don't want to touch them right away and then toss them out. Don't do that because then you're going to burn your fingers. And we also have a wonderful statistic, well, scary statistic from Deputy Chief uh, Baker here. Now, share the folks at home. What are those scary statistics about burning off your fingers? Well, about 35% of the injuries are going to come about from your digits and about 20% from your eyes. So you got to protect the moneymaker and you got to protect the, the, the hands that are going to help you navigate through life successfully. So, uh, and then ears and the rest of the face, we're upwards of 70% of the injuries that take place from fireworks are right here and right here. All right. So like we mentioned, one of those tools that we should always have, obviously a pair of glasses when you're lighting them also afterwards too, but also too, we need to have a bucket of water here just in case. Can you share a little bit more about that? Yeah, a, a sparkler itself is going to be close to 2000 degrees at the tip. So you're not going to be fencing. You're not going to be having a, a jousting session. And right when that is done, it's still going to be very hot. So we want to make sure that all the fireworks do afterwards, we put them in water and douse them. Uh, if you go straight into a plastic garbage can, now that's going to start a fire. So burn prevention, uh, you know, don't let them cool off before you put them in the water, put them in the water and then dispose of. Use the glasses to protect the eyes. And then the, that third step is again to protect the hands. We want to use the long handled lighters. We want to use the long handled uh, matches as well. All right. And, you know, just to prevent them from reigniting, always put them in the water. But speaking of igniting, I think it's always a fun idea to just light one sparkler up, I think, because you're also celebrating your 24th anniversary here at TFD, which is amazing. Congrats. 24 years. I appreciate it. It's been a great ride, and we're going to continue doing more. And uh, let's do a toast here. A toast. This is about an eight-second light. Salut. Come on, seven, six, five, four. It's okay. Five, we can talk a little more. Four, three, you're doing great. two, one. There oh, that go. was money right there. All right, money. All right, guys, remember all these safety tips. Always keep a safe distance away, but most importantly, we hope you have a wonderful, healthy, and safe 4th of July. Uh, live near Cushing and Granada, Andres Rendon, Chief Baker, 13 News.